People have been talking about backlog reduction and the problem of old cases in Serbia for more than 15 years. When JEEP, the Judicial Efficiency Project, started, there were more than 1.7 million cases that had been pending for more than two years. And we knew two things about those 1.7 million cases. 1.6 million of them were enforcement cases, and 70% of those 1.6 million were in one court, Belgrade First Basic Court. That was the elephant in the room. We weren't going to make a difference if we didn't address those cases in this court. The new law offered an opportunity to close a significant number of those cases. But we also knew that someone was going to have to find, process, and organize every one of those one million cases. And that that would be a lot of work. Maybe that's why nobody wanted to start this project at the beginning, because the scope is so gigantic. When we discussed the scope of this project with court staff at the beginning, they estimated that it would take approximately 10 years to resolve this problem. But we focus not so much on resolving the problem as just making a difference. There's another expression in English, that you eat an elephant one bite at a time. That was our approach to this effort. Let's just get started. Angažovano je 60 privremeno zaposlenih lica koji su radila na tehničkoj i administrativnoj pripremi predmeta za njihovo rešavanje. Samo u prvom osnovnom sudu u Beogradu, u kome je u tom momentu bilo oko milijon starih izvršnih predmeta, angažovano je 36 privremeno zaposlenih. Kada smo započeli ovaj projekat, bili smo iznenađeni količinom predmeta koje smo zatekli, kao i stanjem u kojem su se takvi predmeti nalazili. Također nas je iznenadilo i to da su ti predmeti tako godinama stajali na jednom mestu. Više puta se dešavalo da među gomilom predmeta nađemo i prazne omote spisa, pa smo kasnije u procesu rada te predmete dopunjavali papirima iz drugih kancelarija. Naš pristup rešavanju problema dao je izuzetne rezultate. Za 18 meseci rada u 30 pilot sudova, broj starih izvršnih predmeta smanjen je sa 1.400.000 na 655.000. Svaki predmet je lociran, omotiran. Uneti su podnesci stranak. Izvršili smo upoređenje podataka iz predmeta sa elektronskom bazom podataka. Predmeti su sortirani u poveriocima, godinama i brojevima. Bili su spremni za rešavanje ili za dalje postupanje suda. Ništa od ovoga ne bi bilo moguće bez izuzetnog angažovanja privremeno zaposlenih, kao i bezoslovne podrške pravosudnih institucija u sradnji sa evropskom delegacijom u Srbiji. This is extremely important because tackle uh, an important aspect of the reform of the justice, so to how to make the judicial system more efficient. And with this uh, two years project worth of 4 million euro out of a wider envelope of 30 million euro of the European Union granted to Serbia to make uh, uh, the reform of justice is very important because we, talk, we tackle a very crucial area. So I think we achieved the double objective to make it the system efficient and give the possibility to a very large number of Serbian citizens to see their uh, cases uh, solved. Dakle, kao što znate, uz podršku Evropske unije, a kroz projekt podrške u napređenju pravo cudja u Srbiji, od strane su po omišljenju izuzetni rezultati. Konkretno, posle čitavog niza godina prvi put se desilo da imamo značajno smanjenje broja nerešenih predmeta, kao što ste rekli, u 30 suda preko 750.000 predmeta. To će sve doprinjeti efikasnosti sustva, time i efikasnosti pravosuđa. Projekat u napređenju efikasnosti pravosuđa pre svega doprinao je da zakon o izvršenju i obezbedjenju, koji je usvojen 2015. godine i počeo da se primenjuje od 1. jula 2016. godine, bude efikasno implementiran i da u vrlo kratkom vremenskom periodu ostvari dobre rezultate. Velike ciljeve koje smo postavili, a to je smanjenje broja predmeta i primene zakona o izvršenju i obezbedjenju, bez intenzivne podrške projekta JEP ne bismo, da kažem, na ovako brz i efikasan način postigli. Ovaj projekat je unapredio efikasnost. To se ne može reći za svaki projekat.
This was a great project and a team effort from all sides. This is the first judicial reform project that has worked with such a large number of institutions. Therefore, coordination and implementation was very complex and I would say even demanding. However, because of that, the results were worthy, tangible and comprehensive. Last element I think is important and it's a duty to mention the professional and personal dedication of the team that has worked on this project, a team that was very much solution and output oriented. Kada se osvrnemo nazad do 2012. od kad radim na projekte, da mislim da je ovo jedan, ako ne najuspešniji, u svakom slučaju među najuspešnijim projektima u kojima sam učestao ispred ministarstva. Prvi put od kada sam ja na ovoj funkciji, neki projekt ima tako opipljive i vidljive rezultate. Well, it has been a very uh, successful project, a flagship project for us. It's important because it helped the uh, Serbian system to deliver justice to its own uh, citizens. Efikasnost, konkretnost i odlična saradnja sa korisnicima. Efikasnost, stručnost i dostupnost pravde kao rezultat. Savršen određen posao svih korisnika projekta sa merljivim i konkretnim rezultatima sa kojim svi možemo da se ponosimo. Odlično, imamo još posao, idemo dalje, a zajedno.